Good morning, happy Sunday, y'all. We're getting ready to head out to church here shortly. I'm just in the kitchen about to get coffee like I normally do, but I just wanted to come on and say good morning and highly encourage you to get into a fellowship, a Bible-based church. And I just wanna issue this friendly, friendly reminder, y'all, if you're getting caught up in going to uh, performance church, <laughs> you know, the churches where it's just all performance, you get really excited, there's a whole lot of zeal, but there's zero deliverance, meaning you leave and you still, you still, you still dealing with the same demons. Listen, find a Bible-based church, Bible-based, which means that there's going to be correction, there's going to be guidance, and there is no theatrics in the word. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you. So go on out and fellowship. And again, this is just a warning. There's so many people who. Uh, complain about being church hurt because they've been following men leading the church. Uh, follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Before you go to church, before you get into that temple, before you get into that building, uh, you know, make sure that you're connected into, into his grace. You're already prayed up, you're worshiping. So when you go to church, what you're getting is overflow. Your overflow, right? Because again, the Holy Spirit is with you. The Lord is with you. He is Christ is in you. And so I just want to remind you that again, go to churches that are Bible based. Go so that you can learn, get guidance. Churches are meant to equip us so that we can go and serve. Okay? So those of y'all who are going into your churches today, just keep that in mind. Go in so that you can get equipped so that when you leave the building and you get to the parking lot, when life is lifing, you have the biblical, scriptural, scriptural, spiritual strategies in place. Not just getting hype on Sunday to go see a pastor who did some performance or just said some words or, or wore the nice clothes or drove the nice car. They smell good. They got an entourage. Like, stop getting caught up in these things right? Heaven, this, the word says the kingdom is at hand, meaning we have access. We have access. So I just implore you again, as you're going into your churches, you know, ask God to show you, is this the right place I'm connected into? And when you go to your church, you know, serve in some way, maybe, you know, serving is, it could be signing up to volunteer for something, but you know what? Serving could sometimes just be an ambassador of, of the church, you know, I, I just, just being kind to the people, speaking, you know, welcoming people, put a smile on your face, you know, serving in that way, showing up and supporting the events so that support your community, you know, community outreach, all those things, right? So it's really heavy on my heart this morning about going into church. Don't make it a performance. Don't make it a performance. Don't make it a performance. Go to worship God, not man, all right? I hope this blesses y'all. For those of y'all who are going to be mad because you're going to those churches with the performance pastors and you're still coming home on empty by Tuesday, there is still no deliverance. I'm just praying that the Lord will open your eyes so that he will show you what you need to do to connect back to heaven, to connect back to the Holy Spirit. All right? Amen. I do love y'all. I do love y'all. All right. Y'all take care. Have a good Sunday. Bye.